Hi everybody, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. I'm Filippo and I'm a technical educator at the Web3 Foundation. Today, we're going to learn something about multi-signature account and anonymous proxies. Specifically, we will try to put an anonymous proxy within a multi-signature account. And now we'll see the reason why we want to do that. We have previously talked about multi-signature accounts. If uh, you want to learn more about uh, how to use multi-signature accounts, you can see the link below. We also have other videos about anonymous proxies. You can find in the link below also how to create and delete an anonymous proxy, as well as when and why you should use anonymous proxies. We have here this uh, diagram that we used previously when explaining multi-signature accounts. It's important to understand that multi-signature accounts, they are keyless, we don't have any private key, and they are deterministic, which means that uh, if uh, we remove the account from the Polkadot JS uh, UI, for example, um, we can recover it because uh, that address is created using the information from uh, the addresses of uh, the, the signatories and the, th the threshold of uh, the multi-signature account. A problem related to this uh, deterministic nature of multi-signature accounts is that once we create it, we cannot change the signatories. We cannot just remove Charlie and add another, another account. So how we can do this? An elegant solution is to create a multi-signature account where the signatories are Alice, Bob, and an anonymous proxy that is a proxied account and has Charlie as any proxy. In this way, we can use Charlie to basically submit a proxy call. So this proxy.proxy uh, .proxy is a proxy call to the anonymous, and then the anonymous submits the multi-signature call to the multi-signature account, and this call contains the, um, the transfer call of uh, one West End, for example, from AB Anon to Dan. So the anonymous proxy here is basically a channel between Charlie and uh, the multi-signature. And the interesting thing is that we can always change this any proxy. We can attach another any proxy and then delete Charlie, for example, if Charlie wants to leave this uh, multi-signature. And in this way, we don't have to recreate another multi-signature account just because we want to change one of the signatories. Let's see how we can do this on the Polkadot.js user interface. We have here the anonymous proxy. We can inspect and see that it's a proxied account and we have Charlie as any proxy. We also set up the multi-signature B anon. Here we have a threshold two out of three, which means we need two signatures to approve a transaction. And the signatories are the anonymous, the anonymous proxy, Alice and Bob. How can we send tokens from the AB anon to Dan? Well, the intuitive solution would be to go to AB anon and then send, and send from AB anon to Dan one West End token. Click on transfer. And um, let's try to sign with the anonymous proxy. We can copy this uh, multi-signature call data that we need uh, after to approve this transfer call. And here you can see cannot sign with locked key pair. This is because we don't have a private key for the anonymous proxy. The anonymous proxy cannot sign anything. So how can we actually use this anonymous proxy? We have to go to the developer tab, extrinsic, and we have to submit a proxy.proxy .proxy extrinsic. We have, we have to select uh, Charlie. Then uh, here we have to select the proxy palette and um, create the proxy extrinsic. Then um, we want to do a proxy call from Charlie to the anonymous proxy, to Anon. And then with the anonymous proxy, we need to do a multi-signature call. So we go and select the multi-signature palette and um, as multi, we create the as multi extrinsic. We need to specify 
the threshold of um, the multi-signature, which is two, add the other signatory, Alice and Bob. And here we need to put the call data for the transfer from the AB anon to uh, them. So we go to another tab under developer extrinsic and we create the transfer, the balance transfer call from uh, AB anon to, uh, we have to select obviously the um, balance palette. We want transfer keep alive extrinsic and we want to transfer to them. All right the value in Planck unit of one West End, it's here. And uh, we need to copy this uh, encoded call data. We go back and we paste it here. All right, so this is the proxy call. We created the proxy call from Charlie to Anon. And then from Anon, the multi-signature as multi-extrinsic to the multi-signature containing the information about the transfer. We can submit this transaction and we sign with Charlie because Charlie is the any proxy of the anonymous proxy. All right, if we go on the account tab, we can see that here in the AB Anon account, we have the icon and we have one pending approval. So we can go here and we can see that the depositor is uh, the anonymous proxy and uh, the existing approval is from the, the anonymous proxy and now we can uh, basically approve this call and transfer one West End from AB Anon to Dan. We need the data, the call data for final approval. We can go back here, copy the call data and paste it here. We use Bob or we can use also Alice. Let's select Alice and we approve it. Sign and submit. And here we go. We sent one West End token from AB Anon to Dan and we used the channel from the, from the anonymous proxy in order to submit the multi-signature call. I thank you for your attention. I really hope you learned something today. This is a really cool topic and um, it's a really good tool to use uh, anonymous proxy in multi-signature account for managing complex relationships between different accounts. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video.